Hello, I'm Andrew, and from now on, I will read the book Flora and Ulysses, which is by Kate De Camillo, and it is a John Newbery Medal winner. Yes, but I will introduce a little bit of myself. My name is Andrew, and my nickname is Bigfoot. I'm nine years old. And I'm in love with English always. I will be not loved trapped with that. Okay, but there's a little bit of warning. If you don't like comics, just skip the comic parts here, because you know there are some comics and the first. But I'll read the comic together. Let's go. In the Cam kitchen later on a summer afternoon. Ahem. Happy birthday to you. This is your birthday present. It is a Ulysses Super Suction Multi Terrain 2000X. Happy birthday. What's this, Dono? It's a vacuum cleaner. It's a Ulysses 2000X. Yep, it is a crown jewel of vacuums. It features an extra long cord so that absolutely no mess, no dirt, is ever out of your reach. It is indoor and outdoor. It goes everywhere. It does everything. Goody. Ah,、uh, you have to try it out. Turn it on. For heaven's sake, Donald. Please. The missus again. Whoa. Hey now. It is sucking out my pants. Whoa! It is sucking a book and another book now. What's in the world, Dono? It's the multi terrain. You should try it outside. <laughs> and he, she goes outside, and that's how it all began. With a vacuum cleaner, really? It's a real fact, and. This book, Chapter One: A Natural Born Cynic. Please highlight the word "cynic," please. It is a hard word. It is the important word. It is the advanced word. Flora Bella Bookman was in her room at her desk. She was very busy. She was doing two things at once. She was ignoring her mother, and she was also reading a comic book entitled "The Illuminated Adventures of the Amazing Incandesto." Flora, her mother shouted, "What are you doing up there?" "I'm reading," Flora shouted back. "Remember the contract," her mother shouted. "Do not forget the contract." At the beginning of summer, in a moment of weakness, Flora had made the mistake of signing a contract that she said she would work to turn her face away on the idiotic hijinks of comics and toward the bright light of the true literature. Yes, that is a great thing. I recommend you that thing, but not comics. Really? Yeah. Those were the exact words of the contract. They were her mother's words. Flora's mother was a writer. She was divorced, and she wrote romance novels. Yes, please highlight the romance novels because it is a vocab word. This that is a novel story or a book that is about love with someone. Yeah, that is like a heart. <laughs> It is like a love story. I can say, romance novel love story. Okay. Talk about idiotic hijinks. Flora hated romance novels. In fact, she hated romance like love. Yeah, that can be that. Everyone can hate something. They can do it because they are so different. Yeah. And let's go here now. I hate romance," said Flora and loud to himself. Whoa. Herself. Whoa. 
She liked the way the words sounded. She imagined them floating above her in a comic strip bubble. That was a comforting thing to have words hanging over her head. Especially negative words about no romance. Negative means bad. And please highlight that word because it is the synonym of bad and it is also an advanced word of bad. And I recommend you to use the word advanced or bad. Negative a lot, please. Please, please, please. I will mention that strongly as ever. Flora's mother had often accused Flora of being a natural born cynic. Flora suspected that this was true. She was a natural born cynic who lived in defense of contracts. Yep, thought Flora. That's me. She bent her head and went back to reading about the amazing incandescent. She was interrupted a few minutes later by a very loud noise. It, was, it sounded as if a jet plane had landed in the Tickham's backyard. You know, the vacuum cleaner, the multi tearing. Yeah? Yes. In between here, here, or before here, the, Flora's mother was asking if she. she was doing something, and Flora says she was reading, and da da da. And this part was Flora, which Flora didn't hear, and yeah, this is what Flora heard. This. She came to backyard. What's the heck? said Flora. She got up from her desk and looked out the window and saw Mr. Chicken running around the backyard with a tiny oversized vacuum cleaner. It looked like she was vacuuming the yard. The yard! The yard! Dun, dun, dun! Yeah, that can't be, said Flora. You vacuums their yard! That means who vacuums their trees. Actually, it didn't look like Mrs. Chicken knew what she was doing. It was more than like the vacuum cleaner was in charge, and the vacuum cleaner seemed to be out of his mind or his engine or something. Yeah, and please remember, please, please, please remember that this book's point is for something. Here, or something, and in this Bigfoot series, there will be a lot of uh, or something in here, and, and also in this here today. Yes, let's go. A few balls shy of a load, said Flora aloud, and then she saw that Mrs. Tickham and the vacuum cleaner were headed directly for a squirrel. Hey now, said Flora. She banged on the window. Watch out, she shouted. You're going to vacuum up that squirrel. She said the words, and then she had a strange moment of seeing them hanging over her head. Whoa. Hanging over her head. You're going to vacuum up that squirrel! There is just no predicting what kind of sentences you might say, thought Flora. For instance, why would ever think you would shout, you're going to vacuum up that squirrel. Squirrel! Squirrel! What? That means vacuuming up an animal. Vacuuming up a zoo. Vacuuming up the whole town that has a zoo. Dun, dun, dun. Hello, I'm back. Whoa, wait a minute. Where did that go? Let's go back right here. Woohoo! I'm back now. It didn't make any difference though. With the words she said. Mm, I think that's so. Flora was too far away. The vacuum cleaner was too loud. Weeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
said Flora in a deep and superheroic voice. This malfeasance must be stopped. It's what the unassuming janitor Alfred T. Slipper always said before he was transformed into the amazing incandesto and became a towering crime fighting pillar of light. Unfortunately, Alfred T. Slipper wasn't present. Me too. I agree with that. Were the incandesto when you need it? Not that Flora really believed in superheroes, but still. She stood at the window and watched as the squirrel was vacuumed up. Foop, foop. Holly Bagumba, said Flora. We say Holly something something. Holly blah blah. When it is oh my gosh. Or, yeah, oh my. That situation. Yeah, chapter two. Woohoo! What is the last chapter of today? The mind of a squirrel. Not much goes in the mind of a squirrel. Huge portions of what is long loosely termed the squirrel brain are given to over to one thought. Food. 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 Nom nom nom. Hello. This thought is done repeated with small variations. Example, where is the food? Man, I'm sure I'm hungry. Is that a piece of food? And are there more pieces of food? Some six or seven thousand times a day. Six or seven thousand times a day. By thinking they're hungry. What? I'm back. All of this is to say what the squirrel and the chickens Backyard got swallowed up by the Ulysses 2000X. There weren't a lot of terribly profound thoughts going through his head. As the vacuum cleaner roared toward him, he did not, for instance, think, Here! At last, it's my fate to come meet me. He did not think, Oh, please give me one more chance and I will be good. What he thought was, man, I sure am hungry. Hungry! Hungry! I back. And there was a terrible roar, and he was sucked right off his feet. It was like, I'm the vacuum cleaner, and this is the squirrel. Mm -mm -mm. At that point, there were no thoughts of. In his squirrel's head, not even thoughts of food. White brain, nothing. But I think it is okay to have no thoughts of food. Uh, but let's think why the squirrel had no thoughts of food later. Because I'm recording this audio and I, you are seeing my audio. And thank you for listening to my first audio. And if you can... Please and please click the subscribe button and please be ready for my later audios and bye bye.